There's still some technical uh, debate as to uh, whether it is possible for there to be a smaller exposition between the year 2000 and 2005. Now clearly if the moratorium has been lifted and there is the capacity to have a smaller exposition, Australia will be withdrawing its bid for 2005 and subsequently submitting a bid for 2002. Uh, but that matter is still not at the stage resolved by the BIE. We're keen uh, to secure an expo for Australia as soon as we can. Uh, we think that there are great attractions in uh, riding the, the wave of the Sydney Olympics in the year 2000. Uh, an expo uh, in Queensland in 2002 would be the first major international event in Australia after the Olympic Games. And uh, we feel that uh, uh, we would be a, a front runner in respect of 2002. But I mean, if 2002 is not available, uh, we intend to be a, a front runner in 2005. The Expo family. It might be said that we are a permanent world expo. The Expo family lives. The plan remains. I now formally submit the Queensland proposal for an exposition on the Gold Coast in the year 2005. Our plans, like all good sound plans, are flexible. The one people, one planet concept was designed to be built around either a smaller expo or a full length one. Australia does not believe that the world should be deprived of another opportunity to experience the magic of our country and its unique human and natural environment because of some sterile argument over timing or other administrative problems. We realise that we face stiff competition in the 2005 slot. We recognise the worth and the intrinsic value of the competing bids from our good friends in Nagoya, Japan and Calgary, Alberta. But we seriously suggest that Australia's experience in international expositions and the novelty of both the country and our sp sponsored One People, One Planet concept, as proposed, should win your support above all others. Thank you.